Fluffy Hernandez. There he is. Anthony, how are you, my friend? I'm good, man. Pleasure to be here. How are you? Yes. Is it really a pleasure to be here, Anthony? Because uh, according to Dave, uh, your guy, he told me, which, by the way, I said, I'm impressed. He said you had never heard of me or this show before when, when you were asked uh, to come on. So thank you. It's, I appreciate honest. you saying yes. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, yeah, no, he definitely recommended I do it. Um, <laughs> I'm not, like, big on social media and shit. I'm not going to lie. I just, like... I happen to be really good at fighting. You know what I mean? It pays the bills. So I feel I enjoy you, my job. I appreciate that. And actually it's something that I've noticed, like even in your post fight press conferences, like you said, like you don't really look at the other guys in the division. You don't really look at, you didn't know who, much about copy love. So h- how do you live with such blinders on when it comes to your job, right? Is all this stuff surrounding you. It doesn't seem like you pay attention to any of it, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's just a unique thing. No, um, Honestly, it's just, like, I got so much shit going on, like, with my kids in sports and, like, all this other shit. As long as I'm healthy, I believe I'll beat anyone in the world. Um, I've always believed that. And, I mean, there's only one way to find out, and it's getting in the cage and fucking finding out. You know what I mean? So, like, I just keep it simple and just make sure that I'm healthy and make sure that all fucking cylinders are fi- firing and go handle business. Keep it simple. <laughs> how many How many kids you have? Four or five? Yeah, Four. 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 Um, handful, tough, four, I have three myself, four seems like a whole other level. Yeah, I don't have a life no more, man, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like, uh, it's kids sports and fucking my sports, so it's like, uh, it's fucking a blessing, though, I mean, I only get this once, so I'm enjoying the fuck out of it, you know what I mean? And, and what is the age range? 13, 10, um, and then 7, and then 5. Um, obviously the older yeah. ones know what you do, do you let them come to the fight? Um, yeah, they all were there, but, um, I gave them an option of like going and having fun after the fight or going there. Cause that shit was hella expensive. Um, but, uh, they just wanted to watch it at the hotel. And then I went back and hung out with them after and they were all super excited. Um, but yeah, they watch, they watch all my fights and stuff. Um, they know what I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a, that's, I mean, uh, I can't imagine what it would be like to watch your father compete in a cage. Uh, do they tell you they get nervous? Do they get anxious? Do they get worried? So they get nervous for sure, but uh, my like youngest is like she's always at my sparring. She's always like watching. She actually just took up wrestling too, and then she told me she wants to fight. So I'm like, oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping she'd go the college route. You know what I mean? Because this shit's like it's a hard living if you're not good at it. Yes. Um, but no, I, that and I probably like just father bear type shit. You know what I mean? I don't want to see my baby fighting. I don't like even watching my friends fight. Uh. Just because the nerves they get, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd rather be in there fighting. <laughs> um, I'm hearing some stuff in the background. Are, are those your chickens? Oh, uh, yeah. I got like little mini fucking bantams in the house. They're hella spoiled. Uh, he follows me around the house and shit. He's pretty chill. Yo, I, so I saw oh, some God. videos. We're showing them now. Like when it rains, do you really bring your chickens into your house and they're just like strutting around, strutting around the house? Yeah, he just kicks it in the house. So, like, earlier before the show, this fool was going crazy. Um, he want, I let him out, and he wants to go outside. So, like, after this, I'm going to take him outside for the walk around he? the backyard. And just... Is he, like, right next to you? Here, I'll put the video on him real quick. My little guy. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> so why are they indoors? Because they're spoiled as hell, and I live in the city. <laughs> wow. Uh, and, and you just let them walk around sometimes, too? Yeah, you little like shit everywhere, so I gotta like follow him with a napkin. But yeah, no, they can walk around the house and shit. Um, he's hella chill. He's just like a little spoiled ass chicken. Why? And why do you have chickens? Uh, because I grew up on a ranch, and like now I'm living in the city with my, like because of the kids and shit. Um, so to like make myself not go crazy, I gotta like take my mind off shit. You know what I mean? So I have I have my chickens. That's my country, like basically. Wow. So how many animals do you have? Is it just the chickens? Uh, I got like four chickens in the house, a couple snakes, ball pythons, and then um, I got like three dogs outside and two cats. Damn. Where are the snakes? Yeah. They're back over here in this corner, like in the tubs. Wow. (laughs) Do you take them out? Yeah. No, my kids hold them and shit. They're hella like nice. Wow. Okay. And so they're not afraid. Nah, no, nah, hell no. I feel like uh, fear is taught like by your parents, right? If I'm not afraid of shit and I don't show fear, I think my kids will be fine. So um, I don't like to show my kids fear. That's like one big thing I'm big on. Um, let them find out by themselves. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. can put their own limits on life. 
But no, yeah, they're not afraid of shit. They're fucking wild little animals. <laughs> Fluffy, uh, your nickname, where does that come from? Uh, when I first started fighting, I was a fat ass. I was like a, I was a little fat kid. I was probably like 15 years old, 250, two something. I was fighting heavyweight for like a long time, to be honest. Uh, used to fight like pros when I was a, like a little kid. Um, like at smoker shows back in the day, kickboxing and shit. Um, just grew up fighting. I was a little fat kid, so it's, the name stuck. And I just was like, well, I'll fuck it. I run with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. And and why did you get into it? Like who introduced you to all of this? Uh, so my, my cousin Joseph actually introduced me in, which is funny. He don't even fight no more. Um, but I started like doing front yard fights and just fucking around with my friends, beating the shit out of each other. And like, we didn't know the rules and stuff back in the day. So we used to like knee each other in the face and like elbow each other. And we used to just beat the fuck out of each other, like slam each other into cars. And like, it was fun. But, um, my, my dad's like, you guys are fucking dumb. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> And so I ended up like going to a gym with my cousin and fucking fell in love with the sport. And the rest is basically history. I've been in a gym ever since. Damn. So you're fighting um, in the front yard on cars and shit? Yeah. No, yeah. It was fucking fun back in the day. We were fighting little old Dunnigan or Sparta, Woodland. Like at my high school, the fuck, they used to fight in locker rooms. Like it was wild. <laughs> Are you the only one from that crew that actually became a prize fighter? Yeah, yeah, none of my buddies fight or nothing like, but uh, yeah, no, I only started, yeah, I'm just like first one out of my town, so it's fucking a blessing, you know what I mean, to be able to show the kids, like, hey, figure out something you're good at and fucking run with it and don't let anything get in your way and you can do something big. Like, the town I'm from is like population 700, Dunnigan, hella small, and I grew up in Esparto. Um, yeah, it's just small little towns. Um, I graduated from Woodland High. Um, yeah, this small ass little town, but uh, we fucking go hard in all yeah. our sports and shit. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what, what what state is that in? That's California. It's okay. like forty five minutes north of Sac. Okay, all right. Uh, the, did you did you yeah, did you watch MMA as a kid? Like, I mean, that's a great area, you know, with the Faber and all those guys coming out of there. Did, were you aware of it? Uh, not really. Um, I had like fucking dial up internet, so that shit <laughs> sucked, and like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it just took forever. It was just easier to go outside and do shit. Yeah, and like, yeah. Run around, um, dirt bike, do shit like that, um, than fucking wait an hour for a 10-minute video, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It just didn't make sense. Um, but I used to watch, like, when I was, like, when I actually started fighting and, like, learning who people were and shit, like, uh, I was a huge Anderson Silva fan just because that fool would, like, flex on you the whole time and then beat your ass, you know what I mean? So, like, I used to watch his, like, knockout compilations and, like, some of these kickboxers. Um, but besides that, it's, I I don't know shit about who who is. And, um, yeah, I'm just kind of learning as I go. <laughs> when did you start to feel like this was a real career that you could pursue, that you're actually good at this and you can make it to, you know, the big league, so to speak, and be successful there? Um, I don't know. I just kind of, like, went with it, to be honest. It was, like, when I was 15, I was already, like I said, I was fighting heavyweight and beating up grown men already. So, like, I was just like, ah, whatever, this is fun to me. It didn't make me nervous or scared. Um, and I've just, I don't know, I just fucking always people were like, stick with it, stick with it, you're going to go somewhere. And I was like, yeah, all right, well, I'm fucking not very good in regular life, but I'll tell you what, in fighting, <laughs> I get, the, I understand violence, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, but yeah, and no, I just, fuck, since I could remember, I think I dropped out. I tried to go to college for a little bit. Didn't do very good. Um, was forgetting to do my homework and shit because I was working a job and like training and trying to fight. My teacher's like, you should quit fighting. I'm like, fuck that. I'm better at that. So I dropped out that day, took a fight, and then just started sending it. And yeah, so wow. now I'm here. <laughs> what, what do you think you would be doing if the fighting thing didn't present itself, if it didn't work out a long time ago? Shit. Probably fucking, uh, my dad was a diesel mechanic and his brothers are all diesel mechanics. So I was not trying to do that shit, man. I grew up doing my entire life. Like, <laughs> I was like, bro, this is like my one shot out of here. You know what I mean? And I fucking took it and didn't let anything get in the fucking way or disrupt that. And it's basically how I made it this far. You know what I mean, now I have full family, so... I don't have a life again, and I just fucking fight. So it's, it's fun, man. If I can be in the cage all the time, like, that's what I do it for, is for the fans and going crazy. You know what I mean? Like, the fans, it was good to be in front of fans again. I was like, man, 
this is why I do this shit. You know what I mean? Fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, and and what a performance once again for you. Five in a row now. What is the difference? I, I, I saw you allude to this a little bit where it's like sometimes in the past you're not listening to your coaches. You're kind of just going crazy. Is that all that it, you know, that needed to happen. You just start listening to the coaches and game plan. And now your, your, your talent is, is all coming to fruition. Like I've always listened to them. I'm just fucking, I, sh I go too hard sometimes in training. You know what I mean? Like, like what you see is what you get with me. Like I'll fight you at the gym. I'll fight. Like, I really don't give a fuck. Like I'll fight someone for free. I need to like not do that no more. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> I'd say I'll so. Fuck up my hand, fuck up my foot or just do some dumb shit. And it puts me out of year. Um, I have a solid group I'm with right now and like we can all beat each other in certain areas. So like it forces us like all to grow, you know what I mean? And man, uh, as long as we can stay healthy, I think I, I'm on the right path. You know what I mean? I think I can be the best in the world. I thought when I was 25 and came in the UFC, I was just going to clean up shop. I got a rude awakening and then had to do some adjustments and I lost my father and I had to get my head right again and all kinds of bullshit. You know what I mean? Life happens. No excuses. Um, but now I'm back on track and I'm focused and I'm ready to fucking make my run as a man. You know what I mean? Do you feel like everything's um, like everything's in line now for you? Do you feel like it's all coming together? No, a hundred percent. Um, I'm out of my own way nowadays. You know what I mean? And I, I like, I know myself now and I know who I am and I know how to back myself off. I know how to go harder. I know, like, I just understand the game now. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking grown ass man. And now it's just like treated like that, treated like a job. And as long as I do that and have fun with along the way, I mean, I don't think no one will beat me. Uh, it's, uh, it's amazing to see the stuff that you're doing and the finishes and whatnot. And correct me if I'm wrong. Like everyone freaked out when you submitted Hadolfo Vieira, you had no idea who he was. Like you, you didn't realize why that was such a big deal. No, I did, honestly didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, my, my jujitsu coach told me after, uh, he's like, dude, he's like the Mike Tyson in the jujitsu world. And I'm like, Oh shit, that's fucking dope. I know who Mike Tyson <laughs> is. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, yeah, my dad and all them grew up boxing and shit. Like my dad wrestled, but I thought that shit was gay. Like growing up, I was like not trying to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not gonna go fucking wear spandex and hug a bunch of men. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, but now once I started like fighting and understanding martial arts and like having fun with this shit, I was like, oh fuck yeah, this is hella fun. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. <laughs> and then and then uh, a, a submission against Kopilov in that moment there where you're you're locking it in and kind of feeding into the crowd and yelling and all that. Can you describe what is going on in your mind? It's a great shot. Um, and everyone ate it up. What, what is going on in your mind and in your body? We're showing you right now, like a massive smile on your face as dude, you're just putting uh, it to sleep. So I seen fucking Mario Lopez is there. Cool ass dude. Like we chit chat every now and then. And I seen him going crazy. And I, after I got under his chin, I was like, Oh, I got this shit. And I, I just like, was like talking to him basically. And I was going crazy, but wow. that shit was fucking, it was, man, it was, it was dope to see like, people in the crowd it was like i do really good around crowds because like I'm, I'm not like the type of guy to talk shit in interviews and like to honestly even do interviews but um <laughs> when i fight you know what i mean it's like that's me this is who i am like it's a, this is a fucking the game of war you know what i mean like i'm gonna talk my shit when we're fighting because now i can hit you you know what i mean i, I try to it. get in your fucking head yeah. so um that's just that's who i am as a person you know what i mean if you hit me i'm probably gonna talk shit to you in real life too <laughs> I don't know if it's a if it's a NorCal thing, but you do have a bit of a, and I say this with the utmost respect, like a Diaz brother quality to you, where you just don't give a crap about anything else. You just want to fight. That's what you're here to do. You're not here for the glitz, the glamour, the fame. You just want to beat people up. Is that accurate? Yeah, basically, get in trouble, for, not get in trouble for it. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, <laughs> yes, sir. Like, I just want to be left alone beat people up, have fun, get paid doing it, and show my kids the sky's the limit, you know what I mean? Change their life. Uh, I've had a fun fucking life. I plan on just settling back, pumping the brakes, and uh, just giving my kids a better life than I could have had, you know what I mean, as a kid growing up. Basically, that's my only goal in life. Was it a tough upbringing for you? No, nah, we just weren't fucking rich, you know what right. I mean? Um, I grew up working with my dad all the time. Like, that was spending time together <laughs> is fucking working with my dad. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want my kids to have to. I want them to know how to, like, earn shit, obviously, and, like, work hard. But I don't want that shit, like, for them. You know what I mean? I want yeah. them to go to school and have a good life, <laughs> like, an easy life. When they go to school on the Monday after your fight, like, are, do, you, do you sense that they're proud? Like, do, are they going there with their chest out 
and their and their chin up saying like my dad's a badass. Uh, they just like ran to fucking school and shit. I don't know. They, my daughter was hyped about it. <laughs> my daughter was hyped about it. Um, some people recognize me. Um, but like, I don't try to like blow it up. You know what I mean? I just treat it like a normal day. <laughs> okay. By the way, can I ask about the earrings? Does that hurt? Dude, yeah, this one's fucking, this ear ripped a little bit in the backside. Fight week oh, uh, wasn't no. very comfortable. But uh, no, yeah. Uh, usually they make me tape them. They didn't say shit this time. Wow. So. And so why why, like, why is one in and not the other? Because it ripped? Yeah, because it ripped. I'm letting it heal a little bit before I put it back in. Damn. And why do you do that? Why like why why go with that and not the regular one? Uh, I don't know. I was just fucking was bored one day and then that shit hurt. And I was like, well, I want to see how big I can go. Wow. Uh, maybe a mental pain test. I don't know what the fuck. I'm I'm weird like that, I guess. <laughs> All right. I mean, you are a fighter, so you can you can handle it. Um, <laughs> when do you want to return in a perfect world? Um, in a perfect world, like, fuck, May would be dope. Like, I'm healthy right now. I've already started training again. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, the way I see it is Mick and Dana have a plan when, um, I'm ready now. I'm ready for whenever. Um, I know they have a plan, so if they call me with the name that's ahead of me, I'm fucking ready. I want to take it. You know what I mean? I want to show the world what I'm I'm ready to do. Um, I'm ready to get this fucking belt and change these kids' lives, basically. Hmm. And uh, I would ask you if you have a name, but I feel like you don't know any other name in, in the division, so maybe you don't have a name. I honestly, anyone who's ahead of me, like whoever the fuck's going to get me to the title the fastest way, I will take. I'm... I'll fight anyone. I've said this for like a long time. And yeah. I mean it. Like I, I don't give a fuck. I feel like I'll beat them somehow. And if not, I'll gas them the fuck out and then strangle them or some shit. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. in great shape when I fight. Yes. This is uh, what you've been showing for your last five fights in particular. By the way, you know who the Diaz brothers are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I just want yeah. to make sure. I, I, it occurred to me that maybe I was taking that for granted, but uh, everyone No, knows. I ran into them. I ran into them. Uh, what I ran into is that Nate's the younger one, right? The <laughs> fiber. Yes. But, okay, so I ran into him, and he's like, oh, you're that Mexican cat that fucking beat up the, the jiu-jitsu guy. I was like, oh, yeah, Adolfo. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, can't beat a Mexican, man. I was like, fuck yeah, brother. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, he's a legend. I fucking know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. And then you could have said to him, like, are you the guy that beat Conor McGregor that one time? <laughs> nah. 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 Uh, by the way, they're in Mexico this weekend. W which card would you have preferred to be on? The Cali card since you're from there or the, the Mexico card? For sure, Kelly. Um, okay. Mexico is dope and all, but man, it's altitude like a motherfucker out yeah, there, right? right? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to deal with that shit. I'll fight on sea level. I'm good. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, by the way, last thing, your your social is I love Bamf. Is it I love yeah. badass motherfucker? Yeah, so I had a pet llama. I'm not trying to be cocky or nothing like that. Uh, my pet llama's name was Bamf. Oh. Uh, badass motherfucker. Um, but he passed away when I was like, younger and so I, my handle's been i love bamf since like fucking high school i was like i'm not gonna ever change it that was my dude you know what i mean i got my llama tatted on my side so like wow that was my guy bro you just had <laughs> llamas like how many animals did you guys own as as a kid i had a bunch of fucking chickens growing up i had like we kill cow and kill like our own fucking sh pigs and stuff like that goats you know what i mean so like Damn. i would just get stuff and like grew up just cowboys like Mexican shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Eventually, is, um, is the dream to live like that, to go back to that lifestyle with your family? Yeah, so I paid off property with my... Me and my dad, like, bought a, a, a land together, and I paid it off. And my goal is to eventually build, like, a, a gym and a house out there and, like, have a private gym and just be able to give back. Eventually, that's my goal right now. Uh, I've been kind of doing it by myself and, like, getting equipment as I go along the way and try to do it. Um now that I have a house, it's like, uh, I'm not freaking out. I was living in a trailer for a long time, trying to like, just fucking like a fucking 26 foot trailer with four kids. It was wow. pain in the ass. Um, and as you know, when you first started off in the UFC, pay is not great, Yeah. <laughs> but it took me a while to get out of my fucking own way and like shit like that. Now everything's going good. Um, I can slowly go back and work on my project. That's my dream. You know what I mean? It's my dad's it was our dream together, so I'm going to eventually, like, be able to give back to kids and give back to um, people. Um, but I just got to make the money and do this shit myself, you know what I mean? I got to right. figure it out. 
And slowly but surely, you know what I mean? I'm just going to keep fucking knocking away and chipping at this fucking towards that belt till I get it and change my fucking kid's life and have my fucking ranch bones to my dad. And I love just it. Chill. Yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> By the way, uh, how long ago were you living in the trailer with your family? Shit, I think we've been living here for like a year and a half now. Oh. Something like that. So your kids so are pretty recently, big. Yeah, they're fucking. Yeah, no, yeah. I was like, just, I was like, I just, I don't, I've been on a streak. Obviously, I've been trying to fucking murder people to get to the top. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck what it takes, man. I, I'll do it to change their lives. And like, I've already changed their life a lot. You know what I mean? They got to see the, what hard work brings. And like, it went from a trailer to a house. And we're just going to keep on going and showing these kids what the fuck, like, a focused man can do. I wish you the best, man. Uh, incredible story, very inspiring. So well done to you and 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 everything that you're doing for your family. I think your wife is also like part of your management too, right? She helps you on the business. Dude, without side. that woman, yeah, no, she, her, and Dave like handle all my like shit. I don't even know how to like really email. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, yeah, she's like a trooper, man. She really is. She saves my ass and like keeps me out of trouble. Um, and she can fucking actually fight pretty good too. Like she understands the shit. She won like worlds in Taekwondo in 2012. Um, wow. So like, yeah, she she understands the game too. Um, and she just like she keeps me on the right path. You know what I mean? We're like good, great for each other. Yeah. Um, I'm super thankful for her ass. <laughs> Did you meet her pre UFC or post UFC? Pre. Okay. Um, I met her when I was like local in the area. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, you have good people around you, and uh, you're doing great. So congrats on all your success. Keep it up. Well done. And, and and thank you for coming on. It was great to have you on for the first yeah. time. Of course. Pleasure meeting you, man. Same here. Same here. Thank you, Anthony. All the best. There he is. Anthony Fluffy Hernandez. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.